After undergrad, being able to meet people and make memories is what I wanted. My dream was to become a marine biologist, but I did not expect an experience where it was actually going to the ocean and exploring marine biology. I took invertebrate biology with Dr. Beza and the class was so amazing. I knew this was what I wanted to study. It was daunting to approach him for the first time, but I took that bold first step and just asked if there was any way I could get involved with his lab and help out. He told me about his creative inquiry and that's how I started gaining practice. After various conversations and redirecting my research, Dr. Beza mentioned that he had a grad student going to the Florida Keys. They were going to study a parasite affecting lobster populations. He asked, are you interested? I was like, yeah, yes I am. When I first arrived in the Keys, I felt very inexperienced. I felt like I could call myself a biologist, but I wanted more out of the experience and to be able to call myself a marine biologist. I like knowing the answers. In marine biology and in science, there's a lot of things you don't know. Being able to rely on other people and have open-minded conversations rather than relying on yourself all the time is a humbling yet empowering situation. And that's what changed me the most during my time as an undergraduate researcher in the Keys. Now I know that when times are tough, whether it's academically or just in your own life, you can always rely on other people. Over the summer, I became the first scientist to document how a parasitic worm threatening a billion dollar lobster industry regenerates. Now I'm wondering, how am I supposed to go back and sit in a classroom after having this huge experience? But I need to go back because there's a lot of research you can do outside the field as well. That's why you do science. You think it's set in stone and it's not at all. The more you learn, the more you find that there's so much more to learn. And that's what makes it so fun.